Good morning everyone. It is Tuesday morning, the 30th of March, and we join together this morning again to continue in our readings in John's Gospel. We're going to read John chapter 17 this morning um, on our journey to the cross. So let's read that together. After saying these things, Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son so he can give glory back to you. For, he, for you have given him authority over everyone. He gives eternal life to each one you have given him. And this is the way to have eternal life, to know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, the one you sent to earth. I brought glory to you here on earth by completing the work you gave me to do. Now, Father, bring me into the glory we shared before the world began. I have revealed you to the ones you gave me from this world. They were always yours. You gave them to me and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything I have is a gift from you. For I have passed on to them the message that you gave me. They accepted it and know that I came from you and they believe that you sent me. My prayer is not for the world, but for those who you have given me because they belong to you. All who are mine belong to you and you have given them to me so they bring me glory. Now I am departing from the world. They are staying in this world. But I am coming to you, Holy Father. You have given me your name. Now protect them by the power of your name so that they will be united just as we are. During my time here, I protected them by the power of the name you gave me. I guarded them so that no one was lost except the one headed for destruction, as the scriptures foretold. Now I am coming to you. I told them many things while I was with them in the world, so that they would be filled with joy. I have given them your words, and the world hates them because they do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. I'm not asking you to take them out of the world, but to keep them safe from the evil one. They do not belong to this world any more than I do. Make them holy by your truth. Teach them your word, which is truth. Just as you sent me into the world, I am sending them into the worlds. And I give myself as a holy sacrifice for them so that they can be made holy by your truth. I am praying not only for these disciples, but also for all who will ever believe in me through their message. I pray that they will all be one, just as you and I are one. As you are in me, Father, and I am in you. And may they be in us so that the world may believe that you sent me. I have given them the glory you gave me, so they may be one as we are one. I am in them and you are in me. May they experience such perfect unity that the world will know that you sent me that, and that you love them as much as you love me. Father, I want these whom you have given to me, given me to be with me where I am. Then they can see all the glory you gave me because you loved me even before the world began. O righteous Father, the world doesn't know you, but I do. And these disciples know you sent me. I have revealed you to them and I will continue to do so. Then your love for me will be in them and I will be in them. Amen. In John 17, we hear Jesus pray. And it's lovely to hear how he talks about himself and his father um, and how they are one, how they are united, and about love. You know, yesterday in John 16, it was about the Holy Spirit coming and about how Jesus had to leave for the Holy Spirit to come. Now Jesus is talking and praying for his disciples after the time that he leaves. And the first thing that strikes you, or strikes me in it, is how Jesus says, I'm not asking you to take them out of this world, but to keep them safe. So there's a recognition from Jesus at that stage that the world is going to be hard for his disciples, but that's where they need to be. They need to be in this world. Because... He says he has given them a job to do, to share his love, to bring glory to him and to the Father, to show the world 
what God has done for it. You know, sometimes there's a temptation amongst us as Christians that we want to rush through this world. We want to rush through because we say, oh, I just want to be in heaven with God. I want to see his glory. I want to leave this world behind. It's awful, it's rotten, it's sinful. And we wish away this life here on earth. We forget that God has called us to life here on earth, first of all, and that he has given us a role and a responsibility here on earth, first of all, before we reach that point. And that while we are here, we are not alone, but that God is with us. And yes, we are fighting the, the evil one from this world, as Jesus says, but we fight him in God's strength, not on our own. It's lovely to hear Jesus pray for that strength and protection for his disciples and then for him to pray for you and I. Because then he prays for the ones who will trust him, who will be given to him through the message of his disciples, the apostles. And that's us. Jesus is praying for us. Jesus is praying for you. It's personal. Jesus prays for you to have strength, for you to have protection, for you to know his love, for you to be united with your family, your spiritual family, and be united with him and God. We can't ask for any more than that. Sure we can't. So today, as you head out into a world which, yes, is changing over these days, um, we're a wee bit behind England, but there's changes coming later on this week for what lockdown means for us. And as the dynamics of all that changes, remember we have the constant of a Jesus who prays for us, who loves us, and who cares for us personally. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you again this morning for your word. Father, to know that your son Jesus prays for us, that he prays for protection for us, for us to be united in love with one another and united in love and fellowship with you. Oh Lord, that is amazing and incredible. Lord, whenever we are struggling today or this week or at any stage, remind us that Jesus prays for us. Just remind us of your love. Go with us now, Father, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining in this morning. Take care and God bless, and I'll see you again tomorrow morning. Bye for now.